I kind of voice today we'll be doing a player analysis on the new Timo Werner fantasy fuck card. This guy looks insane. Uh, let's jump straight into this then. So what I'll be doing in these is just running through the card. There won't be any gameplay involved, but basically everything you see on a player of you, except the gameplay will be on this video. Um, but obviously you can go watch the gameplay here. But I make nice short videos instead of long player reviews. So he is 5'11", high, medium, 4-star, 5-star, right-footed, controlled, explosive. I mean, he that looks insane, first of all. Like, you don't want anything else. That is basically, for me, I'd say perfect. Obviously, you have 5-star, five 5-star, five but the acceleration type uh, and the height is perfect for a striker, I'd say. So, obviously, you can play left wing. Um, and then what we also look at here is in terms of linking him. Um, I don't know if he gets automatic chemistry. I don't think he, uh, I don't think he does. But um, in terms of linking him, it could be relatively difficult. But there's definitely some Spurs players which you can link him to. Or some, or some German Premier League players. Um, but no perfect links really there. But it is nice and easy to link him. Okay, so in terms of attribute details and stats and stuff that re really, really matters and really makes a player. So we've got 95 pace. That's already insane. And obviously there is room to improve on these stats from the fantasy fucks. Because if um, they do these objectives in their next IRL games... Then they will get upgraded. Um, but the pace is insane. The shooting. Um, just quickly scanning through this. Also, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Don't worry about the shooting. He'll be fine at that. He might worry, like, because I thought finishing would be a lot lower for Timo Werner. But doesn't matter. He's good. Passing. Everything's great there. It might look like there's a few low ones there. But the only one that sort of might let you down a little bit is long pass being 70. But... The main one is short pass and curve is okay as well. So his finesse shots are going to be all right. That's sort of all that I can say about that. And then dribbling as well. You can see it's quite even there. Um, all I will say is the balance is a little bit low for a higher card. But obviously that will improve with when he gets the upgrades. Um, and then defending, all we look at here is heading accuracy. Obviously the, the standing tackles are low. He's going to be so bad at that. But the heading accuracy is good and the physical... Cality is good also. Uh, low strength there, but he is 5 at 11, so we'll let him off. Two playstyle pluses. Let's have a look at the normal playstyles first. So he's technical, rapid, first touch, relentless, and quick step. And then his, his playstyle pluses are all to do with scoring. It's chip shot plus and power shot plus, which is a very good one. We like that. Um, so now we'll talk about sort of chemistry styles and what to put on him. I'd recommend going for a shooting and pass here because uh the long pass is a little bit low and that's the only thing that's sort of really going to let you down um and then obviously the price is fairly expensive i'd say it's a bit it's, i'd say it's a very over expensive for timo verna um but what i'm gonna say is this is this is quite a good uh, i say it's, i say it's good value if he gets two upgrades here so if spurs win two goals in the next four games uh and he makes three appearances which i think he will uh, and i think he'll get a goal and assist so I'd, I'd say that, you know, he's definitely going to be worth the value in the future. I mean, he's a very good card now. So, if, obviously, if he had the fodder to do it. And you've got um, good players to link him to. I would say it's a good um, card to go.